What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Netto and for today's video we are here with the Air Jordan 1 Low Court Purple. So these dropped on Nike.com fairly recently, I believe it was on October 15th, for retail price of 90 bucks. This is another colorway of the Air Jordan 1 Low that in my opinion looks really nice. We've seen a lot of Air Jordan 1 Lows drop across this year, all having very strange release patterns and release dates. So if you're looking to pick these up, I would check your local stores. Honestly, anytime between now and the next couple of weeks, they are just very random in where they pop up. But you know, like I said, we had this shoe here today, so I wanna show you it up close and on feet, I'll give you guys my opinion and rating out of 10. My opinion of this sneaker at retail price and at resale price, so I wanna give you guys a lot of value in this video. So be sure to watch to the end, but for now, we're gonna jump right into this review of the Air Jordan 1 Low Court Purple. All right, so here we are with the Air Jordan 1 Low Court Purple. So starting with the box, we see Air Jordan 1 Low, white, black, and court purple for retail price of $90. Like I said, they're showing up at retailers around this time, around the middle of October. But this is a really good looking shoe and one that's been rumored for a little bit. I saw pictures, I don't even remember how far out, but I knew these were coming, I just wasn't sure exactly when. And it's essentially just Air Jordan 1 Low, black and white with that court purple on the toe and on the heel. So I always get asked about materials on Jordan 1s and Jordan 1 Lows on all the videos that have come out this year. So on this one, this is extremely similar, if not almost the same as the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 Low in that we see this soft kind of nubuck on the toe and around the, the toe box. It's decent material and on the mid panel we see a leather um, for this white on the mid panel and then we see a patent leather black swoosh. So I think the materials on the Shattered Backboard Lows were a little bit better than these, but I'm not mad at these at all. I think the purple looks really nice. It's definitely more of like a dark blue in person than rather a purple. Um, so I do think it looks pretty good. We got the purple 23 on the tongue, the white jump man at the top of the tongue, um, but you know, pretty solid all around. We got the wings logo on the back, the back heel looking very clean as well. Moving inside the shoes, we have black on the insoles, black on the inner walls, a court purple jump man inside of both shoes. On the size tag, we can get a look at that here. Barcode numbers for you there. One set of laces, and there's the shot from overhead. If we take a look at the inner part of the sneaker, all the materials are the same. We got that patent leather swoosh wrapping around as well, and then your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole in court purple. And now that will do it for the up close look of the Air Jordan 1 Low Court Purple. So now I'm gonna get these laced up and I'll show you what they look like on feet. All right, so there we have it, the Court Purple Air Jordan 1 Low on feet. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this colorway right here and how it compares to the other ones that have released this year. I think in my opinion, especially seeing them after how they look on feet, I think the shattered backboards and the black toes still probably are my favorites. These might be third. I do think they look really nice, but I don't know. I like the other colors a little bit better, um, but you know, I'd love to know your thoughts. But if we go through all the things about this shoe, I'll give you guys my rating and opinions and all things. If we start with the sizing, these do fit similar to other Air Jordan 1 Lows and that I would say they fit true to size. Um, so definitely go with your true Air Jordan Retro size. 
Beyond that, at retail price, I think this is an amazing buy, an amazing shoe. Like I've said in the previous videos, $90 retail price is insane at this point. Like that's really, really low. You can't get many other things at this current point in time for 90 bucks retail, um, especially not Jordans, Jordan Retros at that. So definitely a good buy. Personally, I would give them, I think an 8.5 out of 10, um, just because I think they do look really nice. They're just not quite my favorite. And I've seen so many colors at this point that Air Jordan ones are great, but I don't know. These aren't quite my favorite. Um, beyond that, at resale, if you guys were looking to pick these up on the resale market, uh, I will have a link down below in the description to buy those using my link if you guys would like. Otherwise, you guys can che keep checking your retailers, but I wouldn't go and spend too much over retail on these. Uh, typically, big, bigger sizes tend to be a little bit cheaper, so um, you might even be able to get those under retail. But if you are looking for those smaller sizes, definitely check out your local stores. Um, in store and online these should be popping up across the next few weeks but if you did have to spend uh, money on the resale market I wouldn't spend too much um, given that these are $90 retail spending a little bit over maybe even up to like 120 is definitely still not a bad buy either just because they are so cheap relative in the scheme of things um, so you know with that being said let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this sneaker is this something you're gonna pick up or maybe have picked up already um, but like I said I did like it I, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 um, so I think that does pretty much wrap up all that I had for the video today. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.